yeah hello Anna. so i think everybody is here let's start anybody else any uh, who are facing problem in polynomial rasi tadvika aram are you facing any problem in uh, your uh, yeah. uh, chapter is clear okay that's good so let's go to coordinate geometry okay we have already discussed about the basics of coordinate geometry okay what are the points what is a cartesian plane and what all things did we discuss we discussed some of the points that is cartesian plane ordered pair abscissa uh, coordinate okay and then how you are going to make a cartesian plane okay here uh, first quadrant and uh, it is positive positive x value is what x value is greater than zero and y value is also greater than zero now this is second quadrant keep pushing me until this is minus plus and x is less than zero and y is greater than zero in this this is third quadrant this is minus minus x is less than zero comma y is less than zero this is fourth quadrant five okay now so everybody understood about cartesian plane what is a cartesian plane okay so cartesian plane is actually a plane where you can plot your points okay and uh, we plot the points in the form like you have to represent two perpendicular lines okay. that is x o y dash x, uh, sorry x o x dash y o y dash okay x o x dash is a perpendicular sorry a horizontal line okay and y o y dash is a vertical line okay the y axis and the the point where they are concerned the, the at point where it is perpendicular this point the joining point is the origin of that graph okay and this is zero comma zero the coordinates are zero comma zero okay coordinate or the ordered pair will be zero comma zero now the first quadrant is the, on your left left top left uh, top right side that is first quadrant and here both the x and y will be plus first we will discuss about ordered pair now can you tell me what is uh what is ordered pair anybody what is an ordered pair and can you tell me what is ordered pair an ordered pair is like uh, an ordered pair. There's a fixed order, okay? Yeah. Okay. There's a fixed order that which which is going to follow in ordered pair. Like you can write in x comma y, three comma two, five comma eight, comma eight. Yeah. These are ordered pair, and we call this coordinates actually. Okay. So what is why I'm calling ordered pair because the first number will always be x. It will always represent value of x, and the second number here will always represent the value of y. Okay, uh, sometimes it may be written five comma. So you, it will always whenever you see this point, it will be always there that three five represent x and eight represent y. You don't need to check anything if it is written in this format. Okay, you don't have to think that oh five will be x or it will be y. No, it, five will always be x and eight will always be y. So this is an ordered pair. Okay, the coordinate points. Okay, now what is abscissa? The x the x point is called abscissa. Okay, the x point is called abscissa that we discussed, and the y is called Coordinate, coordinate. Okay. Sometime in question, without uh, it may ask you that what is the abscissa of this point, or to find out the addition of abscissa of both the points. Okay. So you should know what is abscissa. The x is known as abscissa, and the y coordinates are called coordinate. Okay. Y axis point. Okay. Now here in the first quadrant, in the first quadrant, if you see here this. Uh, the graph the, in the first quadrant, x is also greater than zero and y is also greater than zero. Both are plus. Okay, the ordered pair are plus plus. Okay, here both x and y both will be plus. In the second or, uh, quadrant, if you see, x is x dash. The so x is negative. Okay, and y is positive. So it will be minus plus minus three four minus five six. Okay, x will be minus. By looking at the point, if I will write here minus three five. By looking at the point, you can tell that in which quadrant the point will lie. Okay, since first number is negative, and first number always tell you about x. So x is negative. That means it will lie in the second quadrant because in second quadrant, so second quadrant x is negative, y is positive. Okay, and x is less than zero, y is greater than zero. Okay, if you remember the sign, then also you can tell that which will be greater, which will be less than zero. Okay, in the third quadrant, both will be negative. Okay, because x is also less than zero, y is also less than zero. Okay, in the fourth quadrant, uh, x will be positive, y will be negative. Okay, x is greater than zero, y is less than zero. Okay, remember this, and you will not face problem when you are plotting the points. Okay, now let's see any problem, any issues in this this whole thing, the uh, quadrant and where this, uh, where x will be positive, where x will be negative, or how to uh, draw this uh, uh, partition plane and what is an ordinate, what is an abscissa. Anybody any issue in this? These are basic. Oh, 
these are basic term for your coordinate geometry okay whenever you are drawing a graph okay so these are basic term okay now here in these are some simple example to check that you have learned about how the points work or how you are going to find out that a point is mentioned what will be its coordinate what will be the uh, sorry coordinate pairs okay or you can say the ordered pair what you will be okay so in the given figure lm is a line parallel to the y axis okay lm is a line you can see there are many points on lm it is not only single line there are uh, the point l is there p is there r q m all these points are there okay in a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of 3 unit okay distance of 3 unit it is from the origin so now you have to find the ordinates of coordinates of the point p r and q so okay so we will start with shazan because in my screen shazan then uh, rajiv then and anham then adrika okay so let's see uh, what is the uh, shazan what will be the uh, coordinate of point p what the is the value of point p yeah what is the x uh, x value the axis are here on x axis, axis see on x axis where this line is drawn from x axis no much three units only yeah so x value will be 3, 3. okay x value will be 3 and what will be the value of y at this point 2 yes this is the or uh, coordinate of point p okay now razi can you tell me the coordinate of r um, r yes yes Uh, so now can you tell me what will the value of r the x value here in this point pe x ki kya value aapko show rahi hai it's 3 yes ma'am 3 and y is 0 yes it's 3 and y is 0 because at y we have not moved any point okay there is not a perpendicular distance in the x axis so the of uh, sorry for coordinates of r is 5 okay now and I'm done. Can you tell me the uh, coordinates of point Q? Point Q. So point Q is three negative one. Yes, three comma negative one. Very nice. Okay. Now let's see the second part. Okay. What is the difference between the axis of the point L and M? Okay. Okay. First we'll see the a point of L. So Adrika, can you tell me what is the coordinate of point L? Now point L. Uh, now L will be three, right? Yeah. X will be three and Y. Ma'am, one, ma ma one second. Uh, Ma'am, ma Y will be 2. Are you sure Y will be 2 for L? Adrika? L is here. Okay. L is here. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, before, before, before. L is here. Right? So it is 4. Okay? So, okay. Now, similarly, for M, uh, Sharia is here, na? Sharia? Okay, Adrika, can you tell me for M? Yeah, Sharia, can you tell me for M? Coordinates of M? Point M? Okay, Shazan, tell for point M. Ma'am, uh, for point M it is minus 3 Y and the 3 is for X. 3 and minus 3. Always tell for first X, 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 first. X first. Yes. Okay, okay. always tell minus X first three. and then Y. Okay. Ma'am, actually uh, you draw, uh, you've drawn a line over this, so I thought first I did for Y. Because always we write X value and then we write Y value. Okay. So now it is asking me the second point. If you see the second uh, question, what is the difference between the axis of the points L and M? Okay. So you need to find out the uh, difference. Okay. The difference between the axis of the point. Now, axis is what? The X coordinate. Okay. The X coordinate. Now, if you see the X coordinate of uh, L is 3 and the X coordinate of uh, M is also 3. Okay. So L axis, L axis is also 3 and M axis is also 3. So it will be 3 minus 3 which will give you 0. zero. Okay. So understood? It may ask you only in one marks question. Okay. The main thing that you will have to learn that how to plot the points and that also you should know that to uh, figure out the uh, you can say solution of a linear equation one variable. Okay. After this just completing this topic we will go on that topic. Okay. Now question number 5. Write the coordinates of the points given in the following graph. Now you have 4 points. Okay. Like here everybody it's visible properly i've expanded it so this is your graph it's shown in your figure okay so now you have to tell the coordinates of the points given in the following graph now first of all it's good to join all the points okay so that we can figure out what is that okay i'm using different colors so that you don't face problem now this r is here okay okay now let's check for q okay so yes shagan tell coordinates um, of q uh, the minus 3 and 2. Minus 3 and 2. Razi, yes, can you tell me 
what will be the ordinates of q q okay okay fine okay fine minus 3 and minus 3 and 2 yeah p yeah that's one and uh, coordinates of uh, coordinates of 2 1 2 comma 1 yes yes adrika point s adrika you there can you mute for point s ma'am that's 4 negative 3 Four comma negative three. And who is going to tell for R? Ma'am, this is Abhika. Can you hear me? Can I tell? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you can tell. For R, point R. My point R and my point R is there. Maps are zero, the origin, and minus two maps are zero, minus two. Yes, very good. So everybody, I think you understood how we are going to check the points. Okay, and what now? If I'll ask you for particularly for point P, what is the axis R and what is the coordinate? So axis R is two and coordinate is one. Sorry, coordinate is one. And for S, axis R is four, coordinate is minus three. For point R, axis is zero. Coordinate is minus two. For point Q, axis is minus three. Coordinate is two. Okay. And in which quadrant all the points lie? That you can directly see and tell. This is in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. It may ask you in the exam tell the all the uh, coordinates and uh, axis and uh, the coordinate. Okay. So you can tell. These are just a practice so that you can learn that how the points are plots. Plot and all, okay. So I'm not going for example number seven, seven, okay, because you just need to tell the axis, ah, coordinate, coordinate, and quadrant, okay. Let's see for one single point. I'll see for point P if you see, okay. We have to tell the four different things, okay. Now if I see for point P, so point P value will be three comma two. So here this is axis, ah, this is coordinate, this whole is coordinate, and this is the first quadrant, okay. And the way you are going to solve this. Yes, you will mention all axis of the point is equal to two. Axis of the uh, coordinate of the point P is three. Coordinate of the point is two point three. Point point of the type plus plus lies in the first quadrant, and the point this lies in. Okay, understood. So these type of question, how you have to solve? Everybody, actually, yes, these are very basic question. They are general. Now comes plotting of points in a Cartesian plane. Now it was. It was asking you how you are going to so that you can just revise that when a point is there, how you are going to measure the value, how you are going to. Uh, find out what is the exact point. Okay, now how we are going to plot a point on a Cartesian plane? Okay, let's see. Now here, question is plot a point four comma five and minus four comma five. Let's see this. Okay, now when we are plotting a point on a graph, first of all we need a graph paper. Okay, if you have a graph paper, you can draw on that. Or after the class, you can just have a graph paper and try to do this. Okay, but first of all, what we will do? We will make the Cartesian plane. Okay, that is the x-axis and the y-axis. You have to go through a line. जो thick वाली line होती है उसमें light lines होंगी आपके या फिर dark lines उसे mark होता है. And all the cubes in your uh, graph paper, it is of one unit. एक centimeter का cube होता है. Okay, one centimeter cube will be there. Okay. Now whenever you are drawing a graph, ठीक है? तो x, x dash. Color is properly mentioned. Uh, sorry, uh, color is properly visible. Y dash. Okay. So whenever we are uh, drawing anything on a graph paper, the one unit, the one cube, what we are assuming that one cube, we have to first mention. Okay. That we are taking one cube as one unit, or one cube as two unit, one cube as five unit, or uh, one cube as ten unit, depending on how much value we have to represent on the graph and how much paper we are having. Okay. It depends. 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 One block is one unit. Otherwise, you'll need a very big graph paper. So you can assume one uh, one unit. Sorry, one one centimeter as your one cube as five unit or ten unit. That totally depends. Or you can take as two unit, five five unit, three unit, six unit, eight unit. It totally depends on the values that you have to represent on the graph. Okay. After seeing the value, you can check that how uh, one unit will be one cube. That one cube will be equal to how much unit you are assuming. So right now, I have to represent point four five four comma five and Minus four comma five, so they are very smaller values. So I can take one one cube as one unit. So one cube as is equal to one unit. So you have to mention this. Sometimes when you are plotting a graph for neat for arithmetic, you are solving a problem and you are assuming in a graph that you are uh, one is one meter. So you are going to write one cube is equal to one meter, five meter. So always mention in the graph so that it help you in the calculation. Okay. Now for you will be having points like this. Lines will be there. Thick lines will be there. Okay. एक एक cube की line बनी होगी एक तरह से. Okay. इस तरह से इस तरह से आपकी lines बनी होती है graph में. है ना? Okay. Graph paper में इस तरह से पूरी आपकी lines बनी होती हैं. Like this. So you will have to take one block. 
इसको मैं फॉल प्रॉपरली बना लेती हूँ ताकि आपको इजी दिस विल बी ओरिजिन ओके सपोज दिस इज योर ग्राफ पेपर ओके नाउ वी हैव टू प्लॉट अ पॉइंट ऑफ एंड आई हैव टेकन वन क्यूब इज इक्वल टू वन यूनिट सो आई एम गोइंग टू मार्क इट हियर एंड टू डिफरेंट कलर वन यूनिट दैट मींस दिस दिस विल बी वन ओके दिस विल बी टू दिस विल बी थ्री दिस विल बी फोर दिस विल बी फाइव ओके एंड ऑन लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ जीरो इट विल बी माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव ओके सिमिलरली अप डायरेक्शन इट विल बी पॉजिटिव सो इट विल बी वन टू थ्री Four. and it will take here a point so it will be 5 okay now if i go here it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay, i will i will have to extend this and i will be drawing here minus 5 okay now this will be look of your graph paper okay everybody now we have to plot 4 comma 5 understood this much how you are going to plot the points how many means how you are going to make the cartesian plane okay The graph, your look will be this. You are not going to make it on paper. So, to tell you that how you are going to put the points, that I told you, okay? Like one unit. Up one unit. Ko ek. I have assumed that okay, one cube is equal to one unit. That's why I am marking for one. After one cube, I am marking one, two. If I assume at five, so I would have written five, ten, fifteen, twenty like this. Okay. Now I have to mark a point of four comma five. Tell you the different color. Which color should I? Let me choose red. Okay. Okay. Now four comma five. Where I will be presenting? See, x is four. So here x is four here and y is five y is five okay if you see x and five where it is joining this point so this point is a four comma five understood any doubt I have moved four I have taken four on x axis and five on y axis okay so here the points are meeting four comma five this point is four comma five okay now similarly minus four comma five now minus four So, x is negative and 5 is positive that means this point will lie on the second quadrant okay everybody so now we have to plot the point in second quadrant and how this is minus 4 so minus 4 minus 4 and 5 5 this is a point minus 4 comma 5 you can make it as you can mark it as p and q or r and s okay so everybody understood how we plot the point on a graph paper any doubt because if you have understood this you will Face problem. Advika, Razi, Adham, Sharia, any doubt? Okay. No ma'am. Okay, that's good. So now let's see. Now one more thing. Collinear points. Okay. Now collinear points means if three or more points uh, lie on a line, they are collinear. Okay. मतलब तीन या तीन से चार ज्यादा लाइन पॉइंट्स आपके सिंगल लाइन पे लाइन करेंगे इफ ऑन अ सिंगल लाइन ऑन और यू कैन से थ्री एंड मोर पॉइंट्स आर देयर एंड देन जॉइन ऑल द पॉइंट्स दे ऑल लाइ ऑन अ सिंगल लाइन ओके ऑन वन लाइन स्ट्रेट लाइन इन फैक्ट ओके ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन देन दे आर कॉल्ड को लीनियर ओके the points are correct it may ask you in a question uh, question yeah it may be given you a uh, linear equation now you have what you have to do you have to draw a graph and check that the points are collinear or not okay these types of question make up now in fact here only you can see a question plot the points 1 comma 3 2 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 0 on a graph paper and check whether they are collinear or not okay so we are going to draw the points and then check that they are collinear or not okay Okay. Now, how can we? Uh, let me copy the question. Now, plot the points one comma three, two comma six, minus three comma zero. Now you can see points are very small. Okay, so what we can do? We can take a uh, you can say a uh, very uh, small values like one cube is equal to one unit. They are sufficient. Okay, because the maximum value that we need here is six, and that can be adjusted in a graph paper. Okay, everybody. So I am drawing a graph here zero, and this is always zero comma zero. Okay, this point x x dash. Y Y dash. Okay. Now, how many points I need? One, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, five, minus six. One Q is equal to one unit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, minus one. Okay. Now, first point is one comma three. Okay. The first point is what? One comma three. So one one will represent X. Okay. You have to move this way and three. It will be here. So this is the point. Okay, one comma three. Okay. Now second point, if you see two comma six, so you have to two comma six, and you can see first quadrant, first quadrant. Now minus three comma zero, that is third quadrant. Okay. Now two comma six is also on the first quadrant. Two is here and six. I have not marked six. Six. Okay. So two comma six. Okay. This is the point. Two comma six. Now. Third quadrant minus three comma zero minus three 
and zero. Y is zero. So obviously y is zero, so it will lie on this line only, and x is minus three. So this is the point minus three comma zero. Okay. Any doubt in this graph? Now, can uh, can anybody tell these these points are collinear or not? Are they going to lie on the same line? No, they are not going to because if you join this, these two points lie. But see, this point cannot come on the same line. Okay. We have to, if we are joining the point, either we have to do this and some zigzag like this. Okay. So these points are not collinear. Okay. Any doubt in this question? Okay. Now, one last question of this topic. So plotting three vertices of a square. Now, this time I'm not going to plot the points, but I will tell you like uh, the last part of this. Like three vertices of a square are A, 2, comma, 3, B, minus 3, comma, 3, and C, minus 3, comma, 2. Now, Three vertices of a square are there. Now, square is there. That means all the four vertex will be equal. Sorry, all the four sides will be equal. Okay. Now, only three vertex value are given to you. Okay. A, B, and C. D is not given. Now, we have to find out this D. Plot the plot these points on a graph paper and hence use it to find the coordinate of the fourth vertex. Okay. Now, you are going to plot these three points and tell what will be the fourth coordinate. And now, can anybody tell how you are going to figure out that what will be the fourth coordinate? This is a square. Yes. None the right one none the right one down is the fourth coordinate. Yeah, but this is a graph already. Uh, Abhika, see the question. Okay. Here yeah, the solution is also written. If you see the question, read the question. Three vertex uh, uh, three vertices of a square are A, 2, comma, 3, B minus 3, comma, 3, and C minus 3, comma, minus 2. Only these three vertex are given. The fourth one is still missing. So Adrika, any idea? And it is also given that it is a square. So square means all the four sides are equal. Now can you no, tell? No, no. Yeah, Wait, uh, the, the C is minus 3 and minus 2. And ma'am, how will find D? It is a C. Are you going to find D? That what I'm asking D. Yeah. See, if all the sides are, uh, the, it is a square. So all the sides will be equal. So this information yes, will, I, uh, is this information going to help us or not? I think so. Yes, ma'am. See, uh, I'll just, I'm just highlighting here only in this graph. Okay. This is the B point. This is the A point. This is the D point and this is C, but D is actually not, not there, okay, in the question. We know only the three points, okay. Now, all the sides are equal, okay. So, that means all the three sides length will be equal. So, you can find the length of one of the side. You can find the length of one of the side and accordingly, you can find this D. How? Okay, you can take any two points. Either you can take AB, BC, any of those two points you can choose, okay. Now, I am taking the x value. If I am taking a, 2, comma, 3 and b, minus 3, comma, 3. Now, I am taking x value. Ma'am, where are you writing? I am not able to see. Oh, now I am about to see. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I was writing, but it was not visible because it's okay. synchronized a little late, I think. Okay. Uh, so, b, minus 3, comma, 3. Okay. Now, if you choose this x value. Okay. X value. So, we are going to add the value of x to find out the. Uh, yeah, Razi. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, uh, we will draw a straight line parallel to B and C, mm -hmm. A to mm -hmm. D. But we don't know the exact point that what is the point of What is the value of B? Yes, ma'am. This is the solved part. Yes. Okay, don't see this much. Okay, just see the question part. Everybody, yeah, se nahi dekho, bas itna hi dekho, bas itna hi mention hai. You have got only three points. Okay, the fourth point is not there. I will remove this fourth point from here. This is not there. Only these three points are there. Okay. So if you choose this, we are going to add the values. 2 plus 3. So it will be 5. Yeah. So yes, the side will be of 5 units. Okay. The side will be of 5 units. Yes. Now, accordingly, you can choose the point here. Okay. Or you can, uh, okay. Razi said that you are going to move perpendicular. Yes. Parallel to B and C. Parallel to B and C. Parallel to B and C. Okay. Okay. Point C. You can do this. Yes. You, can do this. Yes. Okay. you can extend the point A and extend the point C. You're saying a parallel uh, means uh, you are uh, you are moving parallel to C and D. Okay. Uh, instead of moving parallel uh, from C, you can move directly. Okay. Extend the points A and C, and where they are going to collide now, that point will also be D square. See, ये आप देखो ये वाला point. Okay. ये आप extend करोगे ना, तो ये आपका D हो जाएगा. है ना? इसमें foreign line visible नहीं है. Okay, I'm taking choosing B. Okay, yeah. See, A. If you see the point A, okay, you'll have to, ye A point ki jo wo hai, aapki jo value hai, same aapki idhar aayegi x-axis, aapka A ka yoga x-axis. Thik hai? If you see the point A, A ki hi just directly niche banega aapka. Dekho, agar aapka square hai, aur hamaay paas three points hai. Okay, now you can go this way. A, B, C. Now what is the value of A? 2, 3. 
2 comma 3 and value of b is minus 3 comma 3 minus 3 comma 3 and c is minus 3 comma minus 2 minus 3 comma minus 2 now yahan pe jo point d hoga yahan pe jo point d hoga everybody ye a ke just niche aana chahiye yes do you agree or not kyunki ye square hai to ye sari sides equal hongi na to ye to just a ke niche hi aayega just perpendicular a ke or if you draw a straight line a perpendicular line from a ए से एक लाइन परपेंडिकुलर जो आप डालोगे तो वहीं पर तो होगा नो बडी एग्रीज सी जो ए पॉइंट है आपका ए से ही आप नीचे आओगे तो ही आपका डी आएगा ना तो यहाँ पे जो ए का जो एक्स एक्सेस है ठीक है ये जो आपका ये परपेंडिकुलर लाइन है वो क्या होगा एक्स होगा कि वाई एक्स आप लोगे उसका ठीक है तो ये एक्स पॉइंट हमने लिया ठीक है और ये इधर से देखो ये सी का एक परपेंडिकुलर डालोगे तो क्योंकि स्क्वायर में सारी लाइन परपेंडिकुलर होते हैं स्क्वायर जो आपका बनता है ये स्क्वायर जो होता है ये सारे एंगल जो हैं वो 90 डिग्री होते हैं स्क्वायर में हर लाइन एक दूसरे के परपेंडिकुलर होती है है ना स्क्वायर कभी ऐसे थोड़ी ना बनता है स्क्वायर विल बी दिस ऑल द लाइन विल परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर तो जब आप ए से एक परपेंडिकुलर डालोगे तो दैट मीन्स ये आपका एक्स एक्सेस ए और डी का एक्स एक्सेस मैच करेगा तो इट विल बी टू और सी से परपेंडिकुलर डी पे डालोगे दैट मीन्स इसका ये वाला ये ऐसे हॉरिजोटल लाइन आपको चाहिए वर्टिकल से वर्टिकल तो वर्टिकल में परपेंडिकुलर आपका वाई एक्सेस मैच करेगा तो दैट विल बी माइनस टू तो टू माइनस टू कॉमा माइनस टू या टू कॉमा माइनस टू इतने एवरीबडी हेज डाउट हेलो अरम इज आई थिंक शाहजहां Yes, all the four sides are perpendicular. Okay, so आपका जो ए पॉइंट होगा यहाँ इसका इससे आप डायरेक्टली परपेंडिकुलर इसके जस्ट नीचे ही आएगा आपका डी पॉइंट ओके सो इफ इट इज जस्ट गोइंग टू बी तो क्या होगा यहाँ का ये पॉइंट आपका ये तो ये वाला जो है इसका एक्स एक्सेस आप लोगे इस पॉइंट का एक्स एक्सेस लोगे और ये जो है ए का एक्स एक्सेस लोगे और सी का ये पॉइंट सी था यह वाला आपको लेना है तो सी का आपको वाई एक्सेस लेना है एंड देन यू विल गेट दिस डी पॉइंट ओके क्योंकि इस तरीके से अगर आप लेंथ निकाल इसका निकाल के जो करोगे ना ये आपको अब ये आपका आया फाइव यूनिट ठीक है तो अब यहाँ पे माइनस थ्री है तो फिर यहाँ पे आपको वैल्यू फाइंड करनी होगी दैट विल बी टू ओके अब टू होगी देखो अब यहाँ पे ऑलरेडी क्या है थ्री है सो फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू आप ऐसे कर सकते हो कि इसका साइड की वैल्यू क्या होगी एक्स भी फाइव होना चाहिए वाई भी फाइव होना चाहिए तो फिर वो तो आपका ऐसे मेथड हो जाएगा कि आपका यहाँ पे माइनस थ्री है तो फाइव प्लस थ्री विल फाइव माइनस थ्री विल गिव यू टू सो यहाँ पे आपका टू होगा अब टू का साइन क्या होगा पॉजिटिव होगा एक्स एक्सेस है सिमिलरली फिर फाइव माइनस टू नहीं वो आपका कैसे होगा ये आपको इसी तरह से करना होगा और पेंडिकुलर करके ठीक है आपको एरिया भी निकालनी है क्या यूज इट टू फॉर्म दर्नर ऑफ दर्ट ओके फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द स्क्वायर ठीक है आपको एरिया स्क्वायर का निकलना है तो फाइव मिनट आपकी आ गई so a square Ma'am, uh, uh, you got the x axis what about the y axis y axis is also 5 no 5 no 5 is this ye 5 jo hai aapka ye aapka length nikala gaya hai yahan pe oh, okay, okay 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 find the area of the square is area of the square nikalne ke liye 5 unit nikalna hai do points ko leke add karke so ye aapki 5 unit ki ek length hai to square hai to all sa sare sides equal honge to a square yes, equal to 25 ठीक okay. है लेकिन आपको डी पॉइंट इस तरीके से नहीं निकल पाएगा ठीक है आपको परपेंडिकुलर भी शो करके करना क्योंकि स्क्वायर है ठीक है मैम डी पॉइंट निकलने के लिए वो ए से परपेंडिकुलर और सी से परपेंडिकुलर या ड्रॉ करना है मतलब परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉ करना कि सी के सीधे आ जाओ आप पॉइंट तो सी से सीधे आना है कहने का मतलब सी का आपको वाई एक्सेस लेना है आएगा फिर ओके okay? और ए का एक से आपको सीधे आना है परपेंडिकुलर तो मतलब सेम उसी लाइन पे लाइक करेगा ना तो उसका एक्स एक्स ले लेना है दिस इज हाउ यू गेट द सी जब इसे ग्राफ पेपर में बनाओगे ना सब सब लोग ठीक है अभी ये ऐसे अगर मैं पेपर है मतलब कि ऐसे डायरेक्टली हैंड से बनाओ जब आप ग्राफ पेपर में बनाओगे ना आपको क्लियरली शो हो जाएगा कि आपको कहाँ पे आपका डी पॉइंट होगा क्योंकि ठीक है वहां पे बिल्कुल आपका एक एक क्यूब बिल्कुल सिमेटिकल बना हुआ होता है ठीक है सब चीज मेजर्ड रहता है प्रॉपरली ठीक है तो वो आपको अपने आप देखते ही समझ में आ जाएगा क्या पॉइंट होगा नाउ Second topic, okay? Graph of linear equation in two variable, okay? Now how we are going to draw a graph of linear equation in two variable? First of all, we should know that linear equation, okay? Now in polynomial, we have already learned about variable, okay? If you remember, everybody. So what are variable? Uh, it is yeah. coordinate geometry. The chapter is coordinate geometry. Yes. Remember, yes. linear equation in two variable graph is in uh, the the chapter linear equation in two variable only. Actually. Why I am saying a graph of linear equation because linear equation, if two linear equation are there through graphical method also we solve. No, ma'am. This topic is not in the uh, coordinate geometry in my book. It's in the linear equation in two variable sector. You don't have this topic in uh, coordinate geometry. No, ma'am. We have this topic in linear equation in two variables. Ah, uh, just a minute. Uh, wait. Uh, just give me one minute. No, I'm still doing it. According to NCERT, I think our topic is finished here only coordinate geometry. Am I right? 
Okay, ma'am. No, what you are saying that uh, graph of linear equation two variable is not there. I think uh, what I have seen here in from CBSC book that uh, you are having just uh, uh, wait. I am telling you the topics. So you have to go through plotting a point in Cartesian plane that we have covered today. Yes, everybody. Yes, that how to yeah. plot a point, and before yes, that it was introduction of your Cartesian plane. Yes, okay. so that much is covered here. Actually, uh, what we are creating uh, as a node and what we are teaching that is common for uh, ICC and CBSC. Oh. Okay, that's why you are having uh, this question. Okay. Okay. So okay. accordingly, I have prepared this. Okay. So if uh, uh, according to CBSC syllabus, okay, everybody, the CBSC syllabus coordinate geometry is finished here only. The chapter that I have gone through right now, so it is finished here only because only two things are there to plot the points on the graph. Okay. The introduction that they have introduced and what is about Cartesian plane? What are the quadrants? What are the points? What are axes? Are what is coordinate? Okay. But this is going to work you in the second chapter that is linear equation two variable okay so if you want i can cover this here only or else yes ma'am you can cover it here only no problem okay uh today is the time is 49 or i will figure out okay yeah. because uh, all of you are cbc only i think yes all, all of you are cbc so maybe i will cover there i will figure out this and uh in the next time linear equation in two variables is before coordinate geometry also no this i don't was, think so yeah it is the seventh chapter is linear equation in two variables and the eighth chapter is coordinate geometry are you sure? Because without coordinate geometry, how can they teach the graphical method? This is also. I'm not answering you. I don't think so. Because if they are, they are going to teach you graphs, then they first have to teach you how to plot the graph. Number system, polynomial, coordinate geometry, then you have linear equation to vary. But... No, ma'am. Number system, exponents of real power, rationalization, algebraic identities, factorization of algebra, uh, factorization of polynomial, linear equation to vary. Yeah, you have to wait and they tell me. I have to listen also what you are saying. So okay, you I'll send to... you the index uh, on WhatsApp. Okay, so I will see it. Okay, so today's class, we are ending here. Okay.